going to be doing a cut crease makeup tutorial for you guys and I'm super excited because I've just kind of figured this whole thing out and I'm really experimenting with it. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get right on into it. Alright, so I'm going to use some different brushes today for my eyes. These are from my makeup brush set and these came in the oval brush set. Um, this is just the small eyeliner brush and what I like to use this for is to crease. And then this big eyeshadow brush, I use this to blend out my eyeshadow. It does feel a little weird. It kind of feels like you're scrubbing your eye with a toothbrush. But they are pretty soft and they're very flexible, which I really like for eyeshadow brushes. So, yeah. Um, my other eyeshadow brushes, they're kind of dirty and I just enjoy like cleaning them before this tutorial. So, let's just hop right on into it. I already put my transition shade on this eye, and I used um, that shadow right there from the Ulta Eyeshadow Quad in the shade of Good Girl. So now I'm just going to use this um, Elf Eyeshadow Quad in the shade Tantalizing Toke. I now know what the name of this is. And I'm just going to mix that color and that color together. So I'm going to take a little bit of the first color. Then a little bit of that color, and I'm just going to go back into that color and dip in. Then I'm going to tap off the excess. I'm going to open up my little compact mirror so I can see. And I'm just going to go in back and forth motions like windshield wipers on a car. To evenly distribute this onto my crease. And again, this does feel really weird. It feels like I'm kind of scrubbing my eye, but that's okay. That looks to be about good. Now I'm just going to blend out my eyeshadow with this big eyeshadow brush and... I'm just going to make sure that this is all good and blended together. So I'm just going to go in back and forth motions again. Because it's really important that this eyeshadow look is very blended. Of course, that's every eyeshadow. And more so when you're doing a cut crease, I found that you really you need your crease to be good and blended and ready to go. So that way it can cut people from a mile away. So now I'm just going to be cutting my crease using this CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer. Um, this is what I use underneath my eyes today and I use this every day and I really do like it. It's not too um, thick. It's a very nice thin consistency which I really like because it doesn't feel all gloopy underneath your eyes. So I'm going to use this little concealer brush to cut my crease with. Um, and I'm just going to put a little bit of this on the back of my hand. Now, yesterday I used a smaller um, brush to cut my crease with. And I really kind of noticed that wasn't good because it didn't really get my crease covered and my lid colored like I wanted to. So now I'm just going to put that onto my lid. Cutting your crease is really not that hard to do at all. Um, it's very simple once you learn to do it. You really get the hang of it. Now, is this something that I would do every single day? No. But is it nice to do on days that you just kind of want to feel a little bit more fancy and you want to feel like one of those Instagram girls? Absolutely. Yes. Um, the thing that really helped me was I watched a bunch of tutorials on how to, uh, cut my crease and I would just sit and watch those and practice and practice and practice and practice and practice. And yesterday I actually went out of my house for the very first time with a cut crease and nobody really said anything negative and nobody really said anything positive. So I take it that my makeup looks okay. Now we are going to use that color right there from this Ulta Eyeshadow Quad. And Now I'm just going to go 
back into that elf I should have applied and I'm going to take the top shape and I'm going to apply this to my lid over the top of that shadow that we used to set my concealer with. We're just going to take that shadow right there. This is the shadow that I used as my transition shade. And I'm just going to put this on my lid because I really do like this color. It's just kind of a natural, neutral color. That's even a color. I don't think that is. But <laughs> anyway. Just gonna apply this right onto my lid. And then after this, we are pretty much done with my eyelid. So I'm going to go put on some mascara and curl my lashes off camera and I'll be back. Now I'm just going to put on some blush. And I'm just gonna use this wet and lot of color icon blush in the shade Pearlescent Pink. I haven't used this in a while. So, I thought that I would just try it again today. Um, I kind of like this blush. I just don't like how pigmented these blushes are. You really, really need to go in with a light hand or otherwise you're going to look like a clown. Um, so I kind of don't like that. I kind of have a hard time going light handed. So, these blushes just kind of scare me with their pigmentation but if you like that kind of thing then these blushes are definitely going to be for you now for one of my favorite parts is highlighter so i'm just going to apply this um highlighter from the ulti cheek palette this is in the shade mel rose and i really love this highlighter so i'm just going to apply it using my elf um highlighting brush yep highlighting brush had to make sure that's what this was called. Now, I always drag what's left over on the brush down the center of my nose. My cheek is bowing a little bit right down the bottom of my chin. Alright. Now, I'm going to take this little brush that's also from e.l.f. And this is the Smudge Eye Sponge. This is kind of like what you would use to like smudge your um, eyeliner onto your lower lash line. And what I like to do with this brush is I just take and dip it into my highlighter just a tiny little bit is all you need and then I like to put this right into my inner corner this is an awesome inner corner if you're like me and you have really tiny um, eyes 
because this is really going to fit that inner corner so, so perfectly. I can't really use the tip of my pinky. I tried that and it's kind of hard for me to like bend my hand in that position. So I just use this brush, which you can use whatever you want to. If I don't use this, sometimes I'll use a uh, Q-tip. But most of the times I just use this little sponge. Make your inner corner glow. Now for lips, I'm just going to use this Ulta Beauty Matte Lip Crayon in the shade um, Engagement. And this is just a beautiful nude color. This is kind of like a chubby stick. I talked about this before on my channel. It's it is matte, but it stays very creamy all day. It doesn't fully dry down, so this will transfer. transfer. So you definitely have to be watchful of that and take this with you to touch up with throughout the day. So that is the completed look. All right, everyone, so that was the completed makeup tutorial. I hope you guys really did enjoy it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys on Saturday. Bye, guys.